Hello and welcome to the third video that I've done over a number of years on how to use open source tools to run a sequence alignment and a tree generation for genetic data. So um, the first one used Clustal and NJPlot, uh, which were two programs that live locally. The second one used phylogeny.fr, which is a website that you could throw everything into, but would often kind of choke and go real slow because I think the server was just getting hammered by people who wanted to use it. Um, this one is going to use a new program that lives locally called CView. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the CView program. It's uh, free and available for you to use as you wish. And so you can go right ahead and do that. It'll come through as a zip file, at least if you're on OS X and you can open it, here it is right here. You're also gonna need some sequences, obviously. Uh, if you have questions about how to get sequences, I would recommend you go back and watch the other videos for the purpose of this demonstration. I've just gone in and pulled some Cytochrome B uh, partial information from GenBank from a couple of different uh, mammals uh, and a chicken. So I've got hamsters, guinea pigs, chicken, Andy and gerbil mouse, human, and two different types of orangutans. So let's see kind of what that looks like. Obviously, the first step in this process is to align the sequences. So I'm just going to drop them right into CView. And there are the sequences unaligned. I'm now going to go in and click Align All. And there it goes. It did it. No problem. Here's my new aligned data. And now I just need to render the tree. So I'm going to go and render the tree. We have a bunch of different options here. As always, don't... Um, change anything unless you really know what you're doing. I mean, you could absolutely fool around with these different ways of doing trees and see what they look like. I'm just going to go with the first option, which is a uh, parsimony algorithm to do this. And I'm going to click OK. I'm not going to tweak any of these things. And there you have it. There's my tree. Fantastic. So um, what do we see? We see sort of the hamster is uh, most divergent, but it is still closest to the Andean gerbil mouse and the guinea pig. We've got the chicken here, and then the human and the two orangutans. So that um, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and I'm not exactly clear as to why it has come out that way. But what I do know is I absolutely know that the chicken is the outgroup. So I'm going to reroute the tree and indicate that the chicken is the outgroup. So here's our chicken, and magically, my tree is now uh, rerouted to show our little bit closer gr grouping of clades here. So we have our hamster, our Andean gerbil mouse, and our guinea pig, and then we have our human, our Sumatran orangutan, and our Bornean orangutan. So that's it. I want to get this out. I can save it as a PDF. So I'll go ahead and save it as a PDF. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace the one I ran earlier. And then uh, I could also pull it off as an SVG if I wanted. Um, so that's definitely an option for me as well. Let's go ahead and close CView. Uh, should I save my alignment sequences text? I'm going to say nope. And I'm going to say close anyway. I'm going to make my tree go away. And let's take a look at this. So notice it didn't append a .pdf. Your modern computer should be smart enough to know what to do without the uh, appending of the file extension, but you might need to do that. And there's a PDF that I can use for whatever it is I need to use it for. So there you go. Probably a little bit sloppy in my sequence selection, which is probably why it didn't render the tree uh, correctly right off the bat. But obviously we know that the chicken diverged first, so there's no problem in rerouting the tree in that sense. All right, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below the video or feel free to get in touch with me any way you want. Take it easy.